three, two, one. All right, it looks like we are live. Hello, Hello. good people of the internet. Hello. All right, and we are public too. It always it always fouls me up on that. Whew. So let us do the thing. There we go. All right. Whew. So now we send this to all of the places where it belongs. Yeah. Admittedly, I've got a little a little note thing that I put my little message in so that I can easily send it to all of the places. So hopefully people can hear you okay. Hello, Bella! Good to see you! Hello! Oh my gosh, how you doing today, honey? Glad to hear it, hon. Glad to hear That's it. That's good. Yeah. I don't know if I am less prepared than yesterday or more prepared. Because I set things up to be a lot easier. But also... We'll find out. <laughs> we will find out. One way or another. <laughs> oh, man. So we gotta figure out what we're drawing. Because I have ideas. But what's gonna be the one it lands on? I don't know. So while we are getting set up here and uh, making sure that this is sent to all the all the places where I usually send stream links, uh, my lovely co-host, would you like to introduce yourself? Okie dokie. Um, hi, my name is Beth. Um... I'm here to cause shenanigans, cause mischief, and enable the shenaniganery. <laughs> um, yeah, my YouTube link is in the description. It is. Yep. Do a variety of shenaniganery. You know, here to talk nutcrackers, bendy, shenanigans, gremlins, you know, As one the does. rambit. <laughs> well, it is lovely to have you, Beth. It is always a wonderful time when you are here. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh. <laughs> All right. Let me see. No, don't do that. Ugh. Virtual keyboard. Why are you cruel and unusual? Keep you on your toes. Yes. Well put. All right. But that being said, I, I think I got, nope, wait, I forgot one again. Yesterday I forgot to share it in friendly server and it's like no No Pain without love Pain no, no. <laughs> We are We are a mess, we are a menace, and we are pure for it. We're not professional here. But we're trying our best Ugh. Professionally unprofessional. Yeah, that's a way to put it. No, I opened Instagram to promote this and immediately saw Caddy Noir leaks. <laughs> uh, I really what? hope that's not actually her 3D model. I'm not showing it to you. Just not happening, no. <laughs> totally understandable. I can open up 
Instagram and get recommended it. I, I do wonder, how often does that happen? What, getting the, uh, getting the leaks for... For Monster High, of all things? Like, do you, do you get a lot of that? Is this my Surprise fault? Surprisingly... Actually, no. Um, on Instagram, I'm usually doing a lot of uh, American Girl. Yeah. American Girl stuff. And, like, taking a look at, like, people's custom dolls and stuff. As one does. And, mm -hmm. and that's how I get Monster High stuff. Yeah, because, like, we're, we're adjacent communities. Neat. And it's really funny because it's like it's just the American Girl stuff, but it's all it's like all all the dolls I get now. Yeah, honestly, like there are so many amazing people over in the doll customizing world. It's it's crazy what people will do with all kinds of dolls. Like I am immensely impressed with the people who are customizing AGs. That's tough. Mm-hmm. It is. I've done customizing AG like a couple of times, but it's been it's been it's been a hot minute. Hello, Super Aiden three. Aiden, hey, good to see you. Hello. All right. The biggest problem with customizing ag stuff is that they're too big <laughs> they are too big honestly one of these days i'm gonna have to show you um what my aunt did for me years ago like she made us some like, some custom american girl um dresses for our dolls many years ago because i have one american girl doll um, i don't know if we've like ever talked about that i don't know if i've ever told you that i think you mentioned it once but i could be misremembering yeah, no, she is, um, I had a couple of mini dolls growing up, but I have let those go to somebody else. Um, but for a while, um, I have had Katie, who is, you know, that, you know, that doll that's supposed to look like you. Um, we sort of look alike, I think. She doesn't have my, my freckles or anything, but, you know, most American Girl dolls did not have freckles in 2005. Which was really a shame. Like, boo. <laughs> we Indeed. want freckles. Freckles are cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's one more place. I gotta put this on the co-host. Because I have a co-host. If you've ever looked at my link tree, which is in the about section of my channel, I have a co-host and I have a blue sky, so... There you go. And I think that is everywhere that this needs to go. Okay, so now that we have gone to all of the places, man, where do we even begin for today? We've got so many things we could draw, so many things that we could talk about. Is there anything you want to do? Um, I don't know. There's kind of a there, there's a lot of options. There is. I a mean, lot I of guess options. it's. <laughs> I guess since it is technically almost April, we could probably chat about Bendy if you wanted, or we could oh. talk about your stories, oh or... <laughs> well, what, what in Bendy are we chatting about? Are we chatting about Chapter 2? 414, baby? <laughs> 414. We, we could go on for 414 minutes about 414. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize that that was actually an inside joke from Gavin, of all people. Like... What? Hmm. <laughs> like, that's from back when they, they debuted um, Chapter 4 at conventions. Like, that was cool. Cool. Yes, you do see a sus bean 
we we drew VO last night, my Among Us. So these are all of the doodles that we did yesterday. Um, we went on a little art journey at the very end, showed off some old stuff. We attempted Fiero. I had one person come to me in DMs like, Cat Fiero looks like Joey Drew now. And I'm like, what do you mean he looks like Joey Drew? <laughs> Did oh, I just no! give Joey a candle soda? It it's just the mustache. And we are having connection issues with our plugin. Hello, you are going to behave. No tech gremlins for me. See, so not today, Tech Gremlins. Not today, Tech Gremlins. Yeah, no, your your friend did an amazing job with that art art. Oh my gosh, Aiden, send them some love for me. My goodness. <laughs> uh, sorry, we gotta it's just the chair a little uh. But yeah, no. So how about that cage? <laughs> So, it is. Yeah. It is a cage. It is a despite cage. Despite all our rage. I'm coming out of my cage and I'll be doing just fine. <laughs> God, I gotta be down because I want it all. <laughs> I want somebody to do an animatic with Henry in that once that game comes out. I think that'd be hilarious. Just him sitting on the stool. <laughs> Wait, when did that. When did Mr. Brightside come out? I wanna. I have no idea. It's literally just a soundboard sound to me. I've never actually heard the full song. Let's see, looking it up right now. What was that the McDonald's jingle? Oh. Um here we go. It debuted. In 2003. Wow. I feel old. Yup. But can you just imagine? Ha had they just decided to have the Dark Revival just a couple of decades in the future, and you could literally canonically have Henry just go, come in out of my cage and up and do it. <laughs> Aiden, don't say that. That makes me feel old. <laughs> Ugh. Crack the back. Eh. <laughs> uh, thanks for the reminder. Shrimp check, hydration check. If you guys have not gotten yourselves a beverage or your posture's looking uh, weak, fix yourself up. I'm going to do a little stretch, actually. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> we might clean up this the main doodle I was doing yesterday, or we might go on and draw some Bella or some Richard, whoever strikes the fancy. Oh, right. Woohoo! Yeah, just man, I'm still so enamored that people people are enjoying Richard. I am terrified of Richard becoming a meme. He's my meme, but one day he might be someone else's. <laughs> he's just a little meme. He is. He's just a little guy, except he's not so little. He's just my guy. He's just a guy. <laughs> I'm just Richard. <laughs> Did I send... Because I stumbled upon the other day the... Let's see. Did I? I don't know if I sent it. But it was... um Somebody did a Lego recreation of the I'm Just Ken song. Yes, you did send that my way. It was hilarious. Okay, cool. Yes, somebody did... Uh, a recreation of the Oscar, the Oscars performance of I'm Just Ken, except in Lego. It was glorious. It was. Oh! Congratulations, Aiden! Congrats, Aiden! I'm rooting for you. Do your best. You've got this. Ye. Yeah, all right. So, I'm very tempted to draw something that comes into my head. So, I've told you extensively about this, Beth, but the good people of the web do not know about this. So, Zara Larson's Can't Tame Her is a song that I really love, and it's purely because Just Dance happened, and I love the way the Just Dance choreography looks. 
But unfortunately, it hits me right in the brain rot for Richard the Keeper. Um, I just really need Bella and Audrey to break into the studio, <laughs> to break into um, the Gent facility specifically, and like, stage a prison break. <laughs> So Bella's the distraction while Audrey is, like, getting Henry out of his cell <laughs> amongst other people. And there's just this moment where Richard and Bella, like, make eye contact because now they're fighting on different sides again. And it's just, oh, it hits me. I kind of want to doodle that. Like, there's no do reason for it. me to doodle do this. It. I mean, I'm also tempted to do something with Bella and Sammy because, you know, my girl. Oh, shit. Why not both? Beth, I forgot to do something important yesterday. I was supposed to what? record time lapse on my file. It's oh, fine. No! We recorded all of it because it's a live stream, but I was hoping to do the cool the cool thing at the end where it's like we We And to que Yeah. Also, we brought up Bella with her hat the other day, which was kind of fun. I pulled yeah. her back up because like somebody was like, man. Her hat's important to her? That must suck that she can't wear it anymore because of the horns. And I'm like, you're correct. She's very upset about that, actually. But it's symbolic! It is symbolic. Now she's her own person. Yeah. She can get a new hat. Oh my god. <laughs> Hi, Radar. Oh my gosh, honey. Go go back to bed if it's too early. I don't want to. I don't want to drag you out. Holy cow! Like for me, it's almost two o'clock in the afternoon. That's why I always put the time zones when I'm when I'm sharing the uh, when I'm streaming. <laughs> Mouse, Mouse. I I swear to the good lord. <laughs> Almost 11 a.m. for that for fun flu, so it's too late for sleep. No, Plus the rainfall. it's Saturday. It is not too late for sleep. This is true. I mean, unless you like have places to be. In that case, by all means, go go bed. Um, don't go bed. <laughs> but like. Oh, the, you've got rain? Yes! We love rain. I had some rain earlier this week. It was so good. Easy. I'm got, I have some light rain going on. Light so. rain? Yes. Huzzah. There's not rain yet here. I think we're supposed to have rain earlier. Yes, you did see Friendly's wife. Friendly's wife is, is always just around the corner. Mm hmm And, you know, should friendly arrive, the wife will be around more. <laughs> yes. You know, I, I would specifically draw Audrey if if friendly showed up. You know, if she if she knew that I would do that. She does not know I would do that. Aiden, you're gonna have to hold me responsible. <laughs> Actually, that's who I drew, I believe, last year at my birthday stream. We drew we drew Audrey for in mermaid form. Let me actually pull that up. Because I'm, pr I'm pretty sure that was last year's drawing. I could be wrong on that. Nope, it was last year's. Hey, bae. How you doing? Yeah, so... For, for anyone who doesn't know, um, one, I don't draw Audrey very much. Um, but two, uh, I have an AU that I need to get back to one of these days called, um, uh, Kraken's Labyrinth. Wow, I am not with it. And, um, in this AU, uh, there's a lot of mer people that are JDS folks, uh, and Audrey is a mermaid that is a secret princess, because Joey is the king of Atlantis, and, uh, he has artificially made her with the help of Nathan Arch. God damn it, Beth. She's got two dads. <laughs> yeah, no, she does have two dads. And I guess Tessa. Um, I don't actually know what I'm doing with Tessa in this AU. That's that's a time. So Audrey, um, she she's kind of sheltered from the world. Like, three people know she exists, and it's Joey, Nathan, and Wilson. And Wilson kind of wants her out of the picture. So um, 
yeah, that's that's a time. Nobody knows there's a secret princess. She she doesn't really that's understand the- what's going on. But yeah, we love her. She's beautiful. Thank you for linking yeah. my own fic. What? Woman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One of these days. Oh my gosh. No, you're so fair. Like, listen, my birthday was like after Bat DR's release on console, but not by that much. It took a while for it to release on console. Yeah. But man, it was so good. It's hard to believe that Bat DR has been out for more than a year at this point. That's crazy. Just a funky little fella. <sighs> Just, yeah. No, it really is. We are having to pop the Ricola early. Holy cow. Alright, how do I want to compose this? It's nuts. It's bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S-Bananas! Actually... Ooh, that's an idea. That's a, f- that's a four character, maybe three illustration. But we're gonna try it. Hang on a second. <laughs> I mean, I may need to um, adjust my canvas just a little bit. Um, How do I do that in clip? It's been a hot minute. Uh, Okay. Change canvas size. Change from inches to pixels for a minute. Oh, okay. So I need... I want to say it's 1920 by 1080. I'm actually making it smaller. This is not helping. You know what? No. We're not going to change the size. You have good connections, Aiden. You talked to the right people. You went out there. You put your best foot forward with kindness. And that made all the difference. Mm-hmm. Hey, oh my gosh. hello. Hi. It's good to see you, Steve. Welcome. Actually, let me pull up my proper reference for Bella because. I don't remember what her side profile looks like. That would require me to have my brain engaged. Brain engage? Rot row. <laughs> <laughs> yes! It's me! It was Beth! Beth was the guest <laughs> all along! <laughs> <laughs> Hello! It was me! I was a turkey all along! <laughs> Bendy toys are coming next month to the US yeah. only in Walmart. So apparently Jack Pacific had a stream last night where they revealed a bunch of products coming. Amongst them was the Bendy ones. So Aiden and uh, our friend Brandon watched that and that was that was a good time apparently. So happy for you That's guys. Nice. Thank you for getting the dirt for us. You're great. Huzzah. I'm looking forward to that. Vote yes. kid Beth, can we talk about the Bendy toys? Can we talk about Tom? Um, <laughs> yes, give me a second. I'm going to look them up. Yes, please. It's oh, this... my God. All right. Do, 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 yeah, no, do. Beth is a friend. We theorize together. We engage in general shenanigans, and I'm glad to have her here. Me. Well, he what? Right, right. You were at Ghostbusters last night. I hope you enjoyed. I think you did enjoy. No, that's it's just giving me Sonic. Here we go. They do a oh, lot of geek. Sonic figures. Holy cow. 2023. Yeah. What are they doing for Sonic stuff? Like, because I'd actually like to know. Okay. I have a video. Flush Wave 1, 
I'm sending over the video to you, and then I'm going to send you screen caps if you want to share. Thank you. We might. I, I don't know if they showed up anything that we, we don't know. I don't think they did. Because Brandon was in here like, I have the deets. And I'm like, give us the deets. That's not how it went down. But we're going to pretend it is. <laughs> this looks horrifying. <laughs> Bella, what did I do to your face? Do 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 yeah, no. He he told us about um Fang. I am so excited for there to be a Fang figure. My friend Hat is like, well, actually, you would you know him too, Steve. Hat is such a big fan of of him. I just I can't wait to hear what he thinks of this figure. It's like he is he is the guy that I think of when I think of this character. I think we all have that friend where it's just like you are the person I think of when I think of this character because you're they're your favorite. And it's like I'm always so enamored when people do that with me and Susie because it's like, Kat, the number of times I have almost called you Susie, and I'm like, really? Thank you. I am honored. <laughs> I mean, actually, I probably Yay. shouldn't be honored by that, but I am anyway. Uh, I don't. Know. Um. Yeah. So from the video that I was able to stumble upon to the great power of Google searching. Um, and I'll post the video in the chat. Um, it looks like there's three plush, three plushes of Bendy, Boris, and Alice in a sort of of their heavenly toys design. Yeah. Kind of. But look, they look very ink stained and beat up. Yeah. And then there's three figures of Audrey, Baby Bend, and... That's a baby bend in figuring format. Bendy's got his little toy. Ink Demon's got the reel. And Audrey's got something. A tomb? Tombstone? I don't know. If if they actually gave her a tombstone, I'm going to cry, Beth. That's horrendous. And it's great. Like, this is what kids want. This is what collectors want. Hey, it at least it's not an anchor. What do you mean, at least it's not an anchor? Or, you know... Because, you know, there's, like, maybe one thing you can do with the anchor, and that's take off her legs. Also, hello, DJ McNerdet. Hello, welcome. <laughs> it's so good to see you. We are doing all right. We're talking about bendy toys, apparently. Um, I am real quick downloading the last of the images. <laughs> eh. Discord, please! Um, but I actually... I, I, I'm gonna give them your link, Beth. Oh. <laughs> I have no idea what your regular account is. But welcome to the chat either way. <laughs> No, it's a bad time for the mouse to not behave. Mew! It's gonna keep doing this. Oh, is that you? Oh my god, Cephalopunk, it's you! Hi! Hello! We're doing great! Doing better now. <laughs> All of the things are sort of coming together. Yeah. Interesting that they did not show Tom. Tom would have been too OP. Tom is too OP. I'm going to have to go find my source for these toys because I... Okay. Mouse, please, for the love of God. Oh, I hope you're enjoying your hair. That's good stuff. Okay. Eh. Beth, it's being mean to me. It's because I flew too close to the sun. I decided I'm going to stream two days in a row. So. So it said no. Beth making the queen and the lord. That's the cute Alice and Bendy. 
Come on. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. We'll use the touchpad, Mouse. Uh. Yeah. Ooh, it's very in blue for Expo. Wait, Sonic Expo or a different Expo? Because there are lots of cool Expos happening right now. But yeah. Is there background noise or is it just me? Uh, there shouldn't be. If there is, if that continues, let me know. Um, my friend Beth is here co-hosting with me. That's different from yesterday. Yeah. But if you're just hearing her as background noise, then I gotta change what the input is. Holy cow. Uh-oh. Let's see. I don't have anything going on in the background. Or I mean, you're, my you're generally quiet for me. Um, so that might be part of it. Also, they, they might be hearing me trying to get my, my power strip to work. That might be what I'm um, hearing. Gotcha, gotcha. Ugh. I swear to God. The baby Bendy is cute. Yeah, no, he's adorable. Okay. All right, wise guy. There we go. Finally. Yeah, no, he's he's kind of cute. I love that he comes with a train. I think that's great. Um, <laughs> yeah, just just what a little guy. Such a course. cute little guy. I think the Eek Demon is actually a really impressive figure, all things considered. Like, he's got no reason to be as cool as he is. I actually don't think this does him justice. I'm gonna try and find my photo because. We have people who have shown these off already, um, because Canada has them. Canada! We got Audrey. Canada! She do a little kick, baby. Alright, actually, let me... Let me go to my place where I have the thing. Oh, that's too far back. I, I can't go... I can't go talking about that. We're gonna go to Battle Highway on Twitter real quick. And I'm gonna grab you a photo of Tom, which they grabbed from uh, actually I'm gonna I'm gonna link this in the chat real quick because that is the responsible thing to do. Always credit your sources, folks. But I believe these were grabbed from the Canadian version of the Walmart website. I'm fairly certain. I just I just wanna take a look at Tom real quick because Tom Tom kills me, okay? So we're gonna save that. I'm gonna put up the other. Yeah. The plushies I am not as impressed with. Like, I really like that they look like the Heavenly Toys stuff, but Bendy's face. <laughs> it's just not right. Yeah, and then the- Okay, so Audrey is not behind her father's tomb. It's no? just, it's just the gent inker, or something. The jet, the gent inker. Oh, is it like one of those? Wait. No, I'm at least looking it's at not it from the Twitter. Just that it's just like the bendy plushie this time around doesn't look like the heavenly toys one. Um, his eyes are not correct. They're not the weird inverse thing, and also they're too far apart. They're like coming up on the edges of of the circle of his face. And I don't like that as much. Also, like, I have so many Bendy plushies at this point. I, I don't need any more. Um, my rule used to be, you know, one plush per character. But, um, uh, well, you twos may have changed that. But look at Tom. Don't, don't do that. Look at Tom. So I love this because it makes absolutely no sense. <laughs> I just... Look at him. Look, look, why is he in front of the Heavenly Toys area of Chapter 4? He appears nowhere in this area in Pat DR. This character is relevant to Pat DR for all of like five seconds so you can pet him. And he gets a figure before most of the other major characters. I kind of love it. It's great. <laughs> oh my god. Tom's like, I will be helpful. I will show up 
in the game, but I need to have the toy deal. And they're like, okay, I guess that works. Sure, why not? <laughs> okay, bet. No, honestly, I am... E. Yeah, maybe. I, I don't know. I don't know what background you would do for Tom. I would think that maybe you'd, like, do, you know, one of the one of the gent areas. Just even though he doesn't appear there, he's a gent worker, in theory. Um, I just, I, I like him. I feel like the reason we have Tom is more to perfect the Boris sculpt than it is to, like, actually have a really good Tom figure. But this is a great Tom figure. I kind of want him. <laughs> Tom's not even my favorite character. I just like this figure. I like Tom. And also, like, his eyes are really nice. They're not game accurate. But they look good. Like, I feel like I feel like they're an appropriate distance from his brow. <laughs> but that's yeah. just me. But yeah, no, thank you, Tom, for your service. The Boris figure is going to look great when we eventually get one. I don't actually know that we're getting one. That's just me speculating. But I digress. And actually... Maybe in the second wave? Because they did mention that this is the first wave of figures. They did. Yeah. Oh, okay. I see what you're talking about with Audrey now. She is in front of a linker pipe. Okay. I got you. God. I love her. Audrey's great. Oh, man. Eh. Where am I getting a notification from? I gotta do more to mute my servers before I stream. This is this is the other reason I don't usually stream with guests. Nothing, nothing to my guests. They're great. But <laughs> I get so distracted by notifications. I don't check my Discord when I'm streaming because it's no... And I should, because I have people telling me when I have tech problems, but you think I'm that smart? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's asking a lot right there. Yeah. Okay. So back, back to drawing the sheep. Before she is sheep. Sheep. Yeah, her eye shape is more like Orin's because I seem to, you know. No. She got a style. Beth is doing amazing, usually. <laughs> I have the stream up. I have the live chat up. I'm here making sure none y'all are up to some mischief. I was going to say, like, <laughs> you're. I think you're the only person that has mod privileges on my channel. Which is really funny, given, like, I am usually the one that is that person <laughs> in most places. <laughs> like, no joke, like, I met Spence for, like, the first time on stream. I came in to, you know, support him, because I just, we just recently run into each other through Twitter. It was cool. And he was doing one of his streams, and he's like, oh, oh, it's you! You're a mod now. What? <laughs> I did not <laughs> consent to this, ML Spence. <laughs> But here I am. I ended up actually having to mo having to moderate. There were some people misbehaving. You know, spontaneous mod mod nighting. Congratulations! Uh, it keeps happening. Everybody's like, "Yeah, cat's pretty responsible." What? Actually, hey Steve, how do you feel about mod privileges? <laughs> You're one of the few other people I would trust with those. I don't know if you're cool with it. I don't want to like put you on the spot, but <laughs> no surprise modding, mod nighting. No, I would Nighty. do that just for the sake of. <laughs> <laughs> like again, you got to be someone I really trust. I trust Steve. Steve's a decent fellow. Yay. And that's me. That's me. Um, underplaying it significantly. All right, get the sword, Steve.
I love you. <laughs> Man. I just have that segment from... I don't remember the Bugs Bunny short it came from. I just remember when it was... um. In the Quest for Camelot sing-along VHS. But it's Bugs Bunny's knighting like Sir John or Tariff John of Not Nottingham. I'm just... Let me see if I can find a gif. Let me find the gif. Sure. Not sure if I'll be able to show that, but like I'm just curious what you're talking about. This one. And then he makes a whole cake as the guy singing um Sirloin of Beef. Sirloin of this, Sirloin of Beef. <laughs> oh. Don't drop my phone. No. There's no food. That's Das and Das no good. Yeah. Only the quality Nobody. jokes here, folks. Oh my god. Yeah, that that is that is a man being whacked over the head by Bugs Bunny. That's amazing. I'm so <laughs> glad this exists. It's great. Oh my god. Okay, I need to look up what a scared person looks like. That's it. I'm not showing enough eye white. <laughs> Steve, Steve being a menace down in my chat. Oh my god. Yeah, that's a little more terrified. Yay! Why am I spending so much on the face? I don't even have the body yet. <laughs> but you know what? We're gonna make mistakes, and it's gonna be great. Ah! Man, <laughs> you're getting the head prepared, so you're not. So you have a frame of reference when when you're trying to do the body, and the body is, and you're just like, ah, I can't handle this body. Let me clear out everything. You can look at the face and be like, no, wait. Actually need to pull up the older Bella real quick. It's been a hot minute. Um... Yeah, literally, she just says my bangs. <laughs> Actually, Beth, I don't think you were here at the point in the stream where I pulled this up before. I'm gonna, gonna pull up old art again. I'm sorry to everybody who already saw this yesterday. 
Uh, but we're we're <laughs> being a menace to society because we can. Huzzah. So I don't think I've ever shown you Bella before we got to this point. Holy cow. Man, things have changed. Oh, wow. Yeah, we... I had a phase with alcohol markers. Um, I added way too much color to everything, and it was great. <laughs> nice! <laughs> it was fun. It, I, a lot of not-that-great art from the time. The colors don't make a lot of sense, but... Yeah, no, Bella's always worn red in my head. She still does. Please. I mean, obviously not in the studio, but, you know... Well, the studio is a schmuck, but... Yeah, honestly... <laughs> so yeah thanks joey <laughs> thanks joey but i actually have to draw her with short hair here Ooh. in a surprising turn of events because uh this is actually a very crucial detail to a chapter that hasn't come out yet <laughs> yeah well it's like you know so one of the things that's really important to searching the depths for those of you who have not read um, let me just give you a quick overview. I have a fanfic. It's called uh, Searching the Depths, the Heart of the Studio. And in it, uh, Joey Drew's a menace, a as one would expect. And uh, he ends up wrapping this uh, young woman into his schemes. Doesn't know she's a young woman to start, though. Like, I actually... There is no hint that this character is a woman until the second chapter. Or maybe the third. I can't remember. Oh, thank you, Ben. <laughs> You're better at doing that <laughs> than I am. My god. All good. But yeah, so, um... She actually... she th The only reason she has her job is because she is disguised as a man for many years. Um, because no one, no one would hire her as a woman. Which was really awful. Um, I realized the time period was not quite like that. But damn it, I just want to have her deal with sexism. Because sometimes you just got to put a character in a situation. Yeah, so she has this really short hair to um, try and pass as a man for quite a while. So when she finally grows it out again, it's like, you know, hey, nature is healing. But then she ends up in the cycle and it's short again, and it's like, what? Who cut my hair? The cycle is like, no, honey, it's gonna, you're gonna choke to death, it's gonna get ink stained, and you're gonna choke to death, and we don't want that, so we're just doing you a favor. Oh my god. <laughs> don't ask why the ink has the accent. It just makes sense. No, the ink has the accent because that's objectively a, a good idea. Okay, no, but actually, the actual reason for it, for anybody wondering, <laughs> is, um, <laughs> so, Joey, um, one of the things that happens with the way that the cycle is, is when, if you are to appear in the cycle, you appear the way that Joey initially remembers you. Because it all circles back to Mr. Drew. Because of course it does. So, yeah. my butt. so Bella is back in, you know, the look that she had back when she and Joey first met, and that's really cool. I really like that. That said, I'm actually going to pull up some fan art. And I'm not going to put it on screen because I don't think person would be okay with that if I did. But somebody actually drew me fan art for Depths, and it was really cool. Oh, that's awesome! Yeah. And I just... Ugh. No. Putting that in the corner. Because eh. it's like, I really like what they did with Bella's bangs. So, I'm doing that. Well, or something adjacent, at least. That feeling when people design my characters better than I have designed them. <laughs> Beth, you were intimately familiar with this. You were one of those people. 
<laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I also love that this character is just so freckled. Like, are her freckles consistently in the right spot? No. Do I care? Also, no. Her freckles. Absolutely. What is this expression? I don't know how to draw lips from this angle. It's fine. Also, where am I getting messages? Oh my god. <clears throat> oh man. Oi. Yeah. <laughs> the shenanigans we get up to. Mm -hmm. But yeah. No, just searching the depths is a lot of fun. I love it a lot. Okay, I'm actually going to give her a little bit of an earring here. Um, She would not be wearing that, but I feel better about my ears when I put earrings in them. <laughs> I say this is a drawing thing, but I also mean this is like an, an actual person thing. I'm not wearing earrings today because I've got earbuds in. And it's been forever since I've drawn this hat. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah, you got this. I hope so. It's been a million freaking years. Yeah, the angle isn't quite there, but it's fine. It's fine. It's good enough for Cat's illustration. Is this the correct hat for the time period? No. Do I care? Also, no. Now, the reason I say I shouldn't have been focusing so much on the face is because I'm about to have this character pinned to a wall. Oops. Well. Well, here's here's what I'm thinking, right? So I probably should block this out a little bit first. So... So I, I kind of want to have, you know... Gonna tilt that head a little bit. You know. A little bit of. Oh, it's raining! <laughs> there it is! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I. <laughs> okay, so we've got good old Mr. Lawrence here. Mr. Lawrence. Mr. Lawrence, we're gonna maybe we gotta maybe we have to have the do do the chin tilted up, I think, and it's like on the other side, by contrast, we've got our sheepy Bella looking up at the Richard. Mm. 
And, like, she's kind of... Actually, Sammy's, Sammy's actually significantly taller than her. So I, this is not to scale, but, like... This makes sense in my head. That's the only person it needs to make sense to, but... Okay. Okay. Hopefully this makes sense. gonna ghost that a little bit underneath just so I can remember what I'm doing and then we're actually going to tilt this Maybe he's got to grip her chin a little bit. You know, it's Sammy Lawrence. He knows, he knows exactly how to make anybody feel comfortable. Oh, yes. He excel. No, wait. He excels at it. <laughs> Joey had to show up at least once. Of course. It wouldn't be a cat stream if I weren't a menace to society. As it should be, really. <laughs> Indeed. Ah. So, lovely weather we're having. Yeah, a nice light rain. Yeah, it's nice. I like the rain. Hmm. Hmm. So how about that airline food? Indeed. That airline food. It doesn't taste as good. I don't think I've ever... I think... Yeah, I've never had airline food. Really? <laughs> Not once? Yeah. No, well, I've only like, flown like maybe twice. You know, that's fair. I've... And I think... I'm Sorry, go ahead, go ahead. No, go ahead. Well, it's like, I've only had a meal on an airline twice, and to be fair, it was part of the same trip, because uh, I went overseas. Um, There's actually a really, like, a mildly embarrassing story about that. So, I have a lot of anxiety about ordering out food. Um... I have a lot of anxiety about going to places like a fast food joint and getting food. Um, it is uncomfortable for me. So, you know, people mishearing me, not being able to articulate what I want, or, you know, just it's it's not a good time. So I'm on an airplane, and I'm coming back from a trip to France and Spain. And they read off, you know, over the loudspeaker what the options were for lunch. Because we got lunch. Um, I misheard them as saying there was a vegetable lasagna, and that's what I tried to get. There was not a vegetable lasagna, there was regular lasagna and something else. Oh. I'm mad that I'm still annoyed about it. Like, ugh. Just because I couldn't hear the person. Like, please, write it down in one of the pamphlets. Why did, why did I not have a readable pamphlet? Accessibility issues! But yeah, so uh, I had lasagna on an airplane. It wasn't very good. Would not recommend. <laughs> but actually, um, it doesn't taste good. Not because the food is necessarily bad. I mean, maybe it is. But um, because of the altitude, your taste buds are, are altered. So, you know. There's your fun fact that I repeat every stream. <laughs> <laughs> it's a 
great conversation starter. Like, you can talk about so much with aviation and travel. Oh, for sure. You know, I've just had the realization that what I, like, with your piece where you have, like, uh, Bella, when she first gets into the cycle, which is, like, when the key, Richard the Keeper starts, you get the, it's almost, it's almost like the various memes of, like, before high school, after high school, before you're, character you're, development, You're not -care. wrong. It's, like, meant to be <laughs> deep, but it is kind of meme -y in a way. I'm, I'm into it. <laughs> I mean, the true Mimi way is if it's that fright, it's that in between between her getting cornered by Richard and her kicking Richard and running off while he's just like, ow. <laughs> this doesn't look. This doesn't look terrified enough. Ugh. Actually, I'm stupid. She should be tied up. I'm an idiot. You're being... creative. You were exploring... So, no, he's, he's not gonna be tinged... You know, I could just avoid all the problems and say that she is gagged. But I haven't written that into the fic. Should she be gagged? Is this, is this Do you safe feel... for regular audiences? Let me, um... Let me answer that with another question. Do you feel like it would be in character for Sammy Lawrence to gag a sheep that he doesn't recognize that most definitely does not look like Henry. Beth. Beth, I'm about to spoil my own fic. <laughs> oh, well, don't do that. Only if you're okay with it. I won't if you don't want it. Oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm good with that. I'm just saying, like, it'll be in the recording. It will be, and Life I'm okay with that. People, uh, searching oh, the depth spoilers. <laughs> Okie So, um, I could actually just read the passage to you if I wanted. I'm tempted. Up to you. Well, let, let me take a look. I say as I click a link that doesn't have it. <laughs> Cat, you buffoon. Because I, th I thought the comedy of this moment was kind of funny. Mm. All right. We're gonna we're gonna do a little reading because I can. Yay! All right. <clears throat> you really aren't Henry, are you? No emotions betrayed him. She could hardly believe he could say that with a straight face. Then again, maybe he wasn't. How could a being with no face even have a straight one? But he seems sincere. <sighs> Not in the slightest. I'm five foot nothing. At least a few decades younger, and as much as I'd like to think I make a convincing man, something tells me that's not what led you to, that's not what led to your confusion. She let out a deep breath. <sighs> My name's Bella. Bella you. And you are? I am the prophet of our Lord and Savior, the Ink Demon. And then oh god. Actually, it takes a little bit to get to that. Where is Where is it? <laughs> Elephant. Um, ah, yes. Short people. My favorite. Lesson. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I love you. All right. All right, so we're having a crisis. Bella's, you know, like, Joey would not throw me into an ink machine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bella. I'm sorry, Bella, you're very wrong. I mean, he didn't intend to, but he would have eventually, if not now. <laughs> um, 
Um, Sammy's like, yeah. this is where the failures go. <laughs> and she's like, you know, I'm not supposed to be here. And he's like, I'll say, something's very wrong. The cycle seems to have put you in the role of Henry. And if that's the case... Wait, the role of Henry? What the heck is that supposed to mean? And it's like, he's the protagonist. And Sammy's like, okay. You know. Oh, wait. He's the protagonist. The one who goes through this haunting journey and tries to set things right. And Bella paused, letting that statement process. She softened a little. So that's what you see. I look like him to you. Like Henry Stein. Yes. You do. <laughs> Odd, I... I don't look any different to me. <laughs> oh my god. And then Sammy delivers this great line that I love. Oh my gosh. The ink is a fickle thing. To a certain extent, we see what it wants us to see. I can only imagine why it would veil you like this. So everybody else is seeing Henry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's great. I love it. Of course, Thank my you. mind is going to the fun shenanigans of Bella being Bella, but everybody else seeing Henry. And it's just like, oh, uh, I didn't know Henry knew all those swear words. <laughs> Henry could swear. Oh my gosh, Bertie, <laughs> hey, good to see you. Hello. Actually, gotta move it a little bit. Oh, man. So yeah, um so everybody else sees Henry for a little bit while she's still human. Not very long after that. She dies pretty quickly, all things considered. I mean, she is the main character. Yeah. It's great. You know, at least you didn't die to a dustpan to the head. You know, she might. <laughs> I mean, I have her, you know, getting didn't. sacrificed by Sammy, but, like, I don't know if she actually gets hit with the dustpan. I gotta figure that out shortly here. <laughs> out of the many ways that henry can possibly die at least she didn't go for the lame rap yeah we die with a bang <laughs> well it's like one of the things that we play with a lot in the world of depths is hey so what if certain scenes went a little bit differently and um, one of the things that I, I have done is my characters are aware that they're in a story, which is horribly dangerous. Please don't ever come to life. I don't want to die. Um, <laughs> but one of, the, one of the advantages of this is, you know, there are alternate sequences that have been written in place from Standard Batum, where it's like, Joey wrote these and storyboarded them, so they could happen. But they haven't before, so we have to keep our characters on the t their toes so it's not too predictable. And one of them mm -hmm. that exists is Sammy is successful in sacrificing Henry, and guess what timeline Bella's living in? Because <laughs> I'm cruel and unusual! I'm so, <laughs> I'm so sorry, child. She gets better. Yeah, it just like, takes a whole character arc. Exactly. Yeah, it's, the, the it's, it's the sparkle character development sparkle. And we're putting our characters through it. And that's the important part. You know, it helps them become better. I mean, I could, I could put the ever-loving fear of God in her eyes, but I also could have her eyes be closed and her be really upset if this doesn't work out. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna copy the layer again. Eh. I 
Actually, wait. No. We're going to leave you as you are. I may end up scrapping everything I just did, but it's fine. Let's try and get this a little more composed. <laughs> I swear. Am I usually like this with art? Yes. Y yes, I am. And that's okay. Mm. Turn her away from him. We're gonna have her look down in fear. So how about that sports ball? Sports ball. It's a good sports ball. We love the sports ball. I don't actually know how, how bulky or how much of... how I don't know how tied up she is. <laughs> I'm, why am I approaching this as she's tied up around the middle? I guess because, you know... I feel like he'd tie her up more. Just for the sake of... He really doesn't want this one escaping. This time he will get Henry, and it'll be great. Bendy will notice him and will not make fun of him for getting the wrong person. Why are you laughing? Stop laughing. <laughs> My sheep, I will not tolerate such sh shenanigans. You're getting tied up next. <laughs> <laughs> Try me, Lawrence. <laughs> Try Hello. Yours. Hello, St Stitches. Oh my gosh, are you uh, are you Stitches from Fan Game Development? Because I only know like one Stitches, and I feel like that's you. But if you're someone else, welcome. It's good to have you too. I don't actually know how much of her body I want showing. Pro probably this might be the cutoff point. Ooh. Work smarter, not harder. Well, one of the things that's important to her description is, yeah, he's a he's at least a good foot taller than me. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, it is you. Welcome. Yahoo. <laughs> Aw, you're sweet, honey. Thank you. Yeah, we were streaming a little bit last night, and today we're continuing with the shenanigans. And stop changing the color of my pen, new buffoon. This is normally not a problem. It's purely because I'm streaming that everything's going wrong. Gotta love those tech gremlins. Honestly, Beth, you were here yesterday when I told the story of what happened to my pen tablet, right? Yes. I'm. Oh my god. I was terrified. So, like, not to not to tread covered ground too much. But uh, yesterday, as soon as I tweeted out that I was streaming, I went to plug in my pen tablet just to make sure that um, I was all ready to go. And I found that it was bent on the part that connects into the computer. So I was mildly horrified for a second. Um, thankfully, I borrowed some needle nose pliers and uh, we got it bent back into shape and working, but I was terrified. Because I'm like, well, I guess if that doesn't work, we're going to go get uh my sketchbook and draw traditionally which you know we can do it's not like i haven't done that before I haven't done it in years but i have i have streamed that before many many years ago bendy pencil <laughs> what do you mean bendy pencil <laughs> <laughs> oh the mechanical god. pencil oh my god i do like my my um mechanical pencil quite a bit Also, so my poll on Twitter 
came to a close. And everybody thinks that Sammy is going to be the one to bust Henry out of prison in the cage. However, on Tumblr, the story is very different, but that's partially because I included more options. Um, we nobody... see Sammy in, in the cage. In, in a cage, not the cage. Yeah. Like, Sammy and, and Tom and Allison are not my choices for this. Um, but I feel like one of them is probably going to be it. Personally, I'd prefer Memory Joey or Boris be the one to, uh, set Henry free. Yeah. But also, you know, we've joked that Richard is going to bust Henry out of prison. <laughs> I mean, it would make sense. <laughs> I but, could do that. Yeah. I could write that. You could. My theory, my cage theory. Um, most likely from a Tori, Tori storytelling perspective, Joey make memory. Joey makes the most sense, followed by Allison and Tom. Boris would be a fun nod for the fans. Um. Also, hello, Luck of the Claws. Hello. Uh, it is me, Beth. I am here delving my secrets and my theories, my game theories. <laughs> and Bella's getting tied up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, do tell. Um, like, Joey makes sense from a story perspective, and if they wanted to have, like, the arc and kind of, for lack of a better term, close out the Joey Drew shenanigans. Um, Cause it does seem like Bendy's taking a turn from the studio to more of the get stuff. So that would be kind of a nice way to wrap up Joey. Yeah. Um, and would actually give us a characterization of Joey and Henry's relationship. Please. Uh, I need it. Yeah. Please. They haven't interacted in the games once. We need them to talk to each other. At least once. Um, Allison and Tom make the most sense story-wise as well. I feel like that's kind of the the kind of the given. I Boris, just personally hate it. <laughs> there's no, there's no real motive to it outside of oh okay we need this these plot things to happen here we go. Um. Here's my problem. If he meets up with Joey later, it I don't feel like Joey showing up would be, if Joey shows up later, would be done with en enough time to allow us to have Joey as a companion. Mm -hmm. And it to like mean well story-wise and not just be like, a, oh, we needed somebody to tell the player where to go next. Yeah. That makes it feels like he's there as a plot device rather than, you know as a meaningful character, which kind of sucks because Joey is a really important character in this world. Even if it's just memory Joey and he is or is not the real Joey Drew. When has the writing ever been good? It, there, it has its moments. I, yes, there have been moments, and I'm also going to point out that since Mike and Meatly have firmly burned whatever bridges they had with Scholastic and the novels, they kind of have to make a good game because mike has said in amas and stuff and in interviews that the they don't focus on the gameplay because they focus on the characters and the storytelling so gonna have to put the money where his mouth is i don't think i've seen that ama and i'm frankly afraid to it's uh, uh it was a ama that happened after the 50 people got fired oh that one right yeah Wait, I have read that. I just totally bl blanked on that. <laughs> wow, okay. Alright, no name calling. I am I am here for being critical, but we are not going to insult people's intelligence. We're just going to insult yep. their decisions. <laughs> or be, not yep. insult their decisions. We're going to be critical of their decisions. Because I think that's more productive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just feel that Unless, 
like the cage you you have to have joey if you're gonna have joey at all you're gonna have to have joey like towards the beginning of the game so that way there's enough time to develop him and develop him and henry and his relationship or at least uh, get us some get us some more feelings so that way when you know joey does go off to go give the real back to Audrey, that hit of him sacrificing himself makes a lot more sense than it it has to hit a little bit more. Yeah, I feel that on many levels. Like, don't get me wrong, I am... <sighs> I don't need Joey to be in this story with the cage, but I feel like when the basis of everything that happens with Bendy is because Joey and Henry had a rift in their relationship, um, I just feel like these characters not having interacted on screen in any meaningful way. Like, we have memor- not not memory Joey, regular old man Joey at the end of Bendy and the Ape Machine talks at Henry, but we have never- ever gotten Henry's feelings on Joey, other than, like, maybe a couple of, you know, he's like, you know, I, I thought there'd be a little more give and take, instead I give, he takes, and also the wall writing, which might be Henry, it might feels not. like it's Henry, but... No confirmation one way or the other. And we also don't re... Like, there's even the argument that could be made that the audio logs have been altered, or yeah. at least are... Yeah, we don't even know that these are real things people said or Joey writing a story about people. Like, <laughs> Clone Henry should punch memory Joey, then kiss him. You know, I'd actually be okay with that. It will never happen in canon, but I would love that. I I think, you know, my thing is, okay, so I'm, I'm going to reveal a shipping thing about me for a second. I don't like creatorship. And I have nothing against anybody who ships that. Go ahead, by all means. Write Joey and Henry in a relationship however way you want. I don't care. Go have fun. But I really like creationship. Where it's like memory Joey and this false version of Henry. If they are truly separate characters from the original Henry and Joey, there's something really compelling about the two of them as a couple. I just think that's fun. There's something really interesting that you can do with that narrative because they don't have the same baggage they have baggage but it's not the same baggage as the other two and it's all and it all relates back to joey too and it all relates back to joey <laughs> and his name was joey drew <laughs> <laughs> yeah with how much we are told they had a strong bond and the rift between two close friends caused the realities to kind of shatter we get nothing to be shown just told yeah no, it's like we see a little bit of their early relationship from Joey's perspective in the illusion of living, but it's like, I'm going to be real with you. I don't trust him. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, for me, I want to see Henry's side of it. I want to be able to compare and contrast their biases a little bit. <laughs> can we get the third party of the one adult, the entire studio, Abby? Yeah, can we get Abby? <laughs> Give us Abby. <laughs> Let's have Abby just kind of be like, yes, Dork A and Dork B met, and they were dorks together. And then Dork A said something stupid, and Dork B said, screw you. <laughs> and I was sitting here just watching with some popcorn. With some popcorn. Listen, Abby deserves so much popcorn. <laughs> Stitches, I'm so As sorry. I have to read this out loud. Hello, my name is Henry Stein. You claim my work as your own. Prepare to be slapped. <laughs> Abby in the corner being like, dear God, these fucking clowns I have to deal with. Yeah, I mean. They're clowns, but they're her clowns. Exactly. It is her circus. It is her monkeys. Yeah, I, I think the cage is a perfect opportunity to 
like wrap up the rest of the Joey Drew Studios related stuff and then transition and focus on to what I'm assuming is where they're going with. They seem to be going for more of the sci-fi horror, the more evil corporation. Focusing more on the Ghent and the realities collapsing in on each other and stuff. And I feel like, you know, you want to give Bendy 3 the best possible, you know, best possible thing than the cage or whatever's next in the world of Bendy. Yeah. Just wrap up, like wrap up the Joey and Henry stuff and give us a little bit, you know, wrap that up so that way it's like, okay, we can close this. We can we can move on from the studio. And it will also um, allow, it will also give us a chance to close that stuff up so that way Audrey isn't tied down by Joey. Do not pronounce Gant as Gant. The Ent? I yeah, you, you you call it Ghent, I call it Gent, like gentleman. And we've always had that difference between us, and it's like, we don't know how the heck it's it's pronounced. Like how many like, times do they say gent in the in the series out loud? You know what? They're they're called whatever I want them to be. Yeah. I'm not gonna correct you on it. You call it whatever you want. You know what? If they if they were more than just your average evil corporation doing acts against God and humanity for the sake of the lulls, then I'll t- call them something correct then. <laughs> oh my god. But now they're get. Like, I have listened to Dale Little's song for the Joey Drew All-Star Music Review enough times to, so that it's, like, stuck in my head. So take that, gent corporation! <laughs> <laughs> I love it. If Betty... If Betty was the one to free Henry in the cage, I mean, I have no real explanation on the how or why she would. But I need more Betty. Honestly, that would be nice. This is the real reason Betty has us go on a fetch quest. She's stalling for time. <laughs> you know, I I could see it. I could dig it, you know. You know what? It would be really cute. Alice asked, you know, she's, she spotted Alice and mistook her for Alice. And oh, her girlfriend for her girl. Yes, exactly for her girlfriend. Allison <laughs> is like, no, I'm trying to free Henry. She's like, oh no, dear, I'll do that for you. Don't worry about it. I can get in there, no problem. You stay right there. I like the way you done your hair now. <laughs> and poor Allison is just like, oh no, did I just murder somebody's girlfriend? I'm just gonna sit there, just giving her a look, being like. I'm never letting you live this down. Even when our memories are wiped with the next cycle reset, I'm never letting you live this down. I love it. I love that so much. <laughs> I need that in fic form, Beth. That is unreasonably good. <laughs> in case you didn't know, I am very pro Alice and Betty as a ship. <laughs> like, I like Alice with a lot of characters, namely Sammy, but specifically... Betty and her have so much going on. No, for sure. Like, give us... My my fear... And I may be manifesting this into reality, but you know, Go at this ahead, point, manifest it. We've my fear worse. is that it's just gonna. There's two fears that I have. One, it is the fear that it's going. There's going to be like a weird pseudo, like believing yourself hope speech from from whatever, and then. Henry just gets out, no problems. And goes on his merry way that almost throws the he's an ink clone into question. Or it's going to be this new character that is, you know, their sole purpose is to help Henry out of the cage. And then they die. And then they die. And 
very little character development is, but it's very, but like Henry's really, really attached. Or we're just going to kill Boris again. I mean, I, I feel like everybody's kind of expecting Boris to die, let's be real. I'm not expecting Boris to be in this just because, like, they still have updates they could do to Boris in the Dark Survival, so it's like, you know, maybe they won't kill Boris. I don't know. I, I feel like they forget about the wolf, the dark, the, let's see, the wolf gang. The, the, the wolf, wolf gang? game. The Boris game. The Boris. Hi, Bernie. We're up to shenanigans. Doing well. Hope you're well. Hope you got a good rest. Okay, this is... much better? Question mark? Well, at the very least, it feels better than it did before. We're torturing characters. We're being a little catty. <sighs> but you know, that's pretty par for the course for me. Yep. You... No, you you've sent it to me. I just I just haven't gotten it gotten to it yet. I take like a million years to read fanfics and sometimes I just don't. You gotta be in the right mood for and unfortunately, it takes a million years for the stars to align for me. I've just been so freaking busy. There's like, also that part too. Like I tell people, don't don't send me fanfics. I will never read them because I just it takes me a million years. Oh man. God. So, you know what I'm hoping for in the cage, but it's not going to happen? So, what? well, you, you talk about, you know, give us a new character that ultimately dies. If that happens, do you know who I think it would be? Would it be Buddy? Wally. That, that's true. Like, Wally's standing right there. And we have, he is the one repeat audio log of Bat DR. And he doesn't show up anywhere else. I mean, it would mean a lot of the Meatly talking to himself to record that dialogue. But given I'm told that this is a smaller development team for the cage, it wouldn't surprise me. Or that we're going to get a clone of the real Thomas Connor. Or oh boy. Thomas Connor, that'd be that'd be a trip. Can you imagine Tom showing up in the games in human form? That'd be terrible. I I would never want that to happen. <laughs> that would be so weird. Yeah. And like, I it, I feel like Oh, go ahead. No, you go ahead. I I'm good. Okay. Um the like, for Wally, I think Wally's safe because he's, like, despite not being in Bad DR, he's still very much the meme. He is. The guy. The, the guy. little guy. And I feel like if... I... F <laughs> Sorry. Human Thomas Connor, he gets into a fight with his persona. No, for real, though. That would actually be <laughs> hilarious. That that would be funny. Um, I I I feel like, I mean, outside of the fact of I don't, I feel like since this is going to be a smaller thing, I don't think the Meatly's going to try and like get Lauren on to help him, like direct him and make sure he can talk to himself. I mean, maybe, in a compelling I have way. No idea. Maybe I don't know. I don't. I don't know what that puppet's thinking. It just. Yeah, He's no, we, we do not live in the brain of the puppet. If we did, the world would be a very different place. Mm hmm Um, but I think that with Walt, I, I feel like the fan 
collective shell shock for if something were to happen to Wally in the cage, which is technically still a side game and not a mainline game. Yeah. Would probably probably do enough to break people. Honestly, I think I think for me, it's like I want Wally to come back. Like I know that he is probably safe in Florida with his wife, but I kind of want him back. I want him to face the horrors. Which is why Searching the Depths exists. Spoiler alert, Wally's in it. Because I am a cruel and unusual mistress. Yeah. He's alright. No, he's not. Okay, for like two minutes, he's okay. Beth, I killed his dog. Well, Joey killed his dog, but I wrote him to do that, so technically it's my fault. <laughs> well, he doesn't have a dog in canon that we know of, so it's fine. Yeah, tell me tell me that Wally wouldn't be a dog guy, though. Like, honestly? Oh, he's for sure a dog guy. If not, he has a dog walking business in Florida. Oh my god, can you imagine? Can you imagine... Uh, I want that. The real Florida. reason why he went to Florida is like, sorry, Mr. Drew, I'm totally retiring and heading to Florida to be with the missus. In reality, honey, you and I are going to have a dog walking business. It's going to be great in Florida. <laughs> in Florida. Is the, is the dog walking scene very, very prominent in Florida? I've, I've been to Florida, but I would not know this. I'm just thinking it's far enough away from Joey that he doesn't have to worry about accidentally running into Joey and so his lie is never caught <laughs> he doesn't want to deal with Joey okay. let's be real even without all the ink horrors and whatever going on if you left Joey Drew Studios and you still lived in the same area I imagine that everywhere you go Everywhere you look, there's Joey just giving you the biggest, either the biggest puppy dog eyes wanting you to come back, or just this the attempt at the disappointed dad look. But it doesn't work, so it's just very awkward. Oh my god. Man, I just... Am I wrong? I no, am not wrong. No, you're not wrong, and I, I love you for it. It's amazing, actually. God, I have not drawn her with this short of hair in a long time. But I really like it. Me. It's a, it's a little, a little scruffy. I think she hasn't quite gotten the curls yet that come from being sheep. She's a sheep. Drive me crazy. She's a sheer sheep. No, Beth. <laughs> You're not <laughs> wrong though. She's not gained. Eh, it happens. Oh, man. But yeah, no, I just, oof. This hat is going to be the death of me, Beth. I don't know how to draw hats. I'm just pretending That's I don't know how to draw hats. That is a mood. She can't be sure, and actually, I do wonder, like, how haircuts work in the cycle. <laughs> this is probably something I should figure out. <laughs> Well, it's like we go clearly, back. Clearly, it is a thing that can happen because, like, you got all the Mohawk lost ones, and like they're stylish as hell. Actually, hey Beth, can can you do me a favor, real quick? Sure. Can you look up when the Mohawk became a popular hairstyle, or when it was yeah. invented, whichever comes first? Mohawk history. Because I I know nothing. I want to know like what time period are those lost ones from? Okay, let me go. Okay, Mohawks have long 
long history long history of as a name itself Ooh. so give me a sec so i can narrow down it because all right there we go all right mohawk hairstyle do, 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 do. okay Okay, this hairstyle has been in existence in many parts of the world for millennia. For instance, uh, the Cloney Kevan man, a 2,000-year-old male bog body discovered near Dublin, Ireland in 2003, was found wearing a mohawk styled with plant oil and pine resin. Vikings in the Viking Age also had bleached hair with a side shave and a short top, according to medieval records. Among the pop... Pawnee people who historically lived in present-day Nebraska and in northern Kansas, a Mohawk hairstyle was common. When going to war, 16th century Ukrainian Cossacks would shave their heads, leaving a long single strip. This haircut was known as the, I'm going to butcher this not, I apologize, the Osildet or Chepranya, and was often braided or tied up in a top knot. Uh, mm. During World War II, Many GIs, notably paratroopers from the 17th Airborne Division, wore mohawks to intimidate their enemies. It was also occasionally worn by American troops during the Vietnam War. In the early 1950s, mohawks were worn by some jazz musicians, such as Sonny Rollins. Well, there you go. They're all former band members. We solved the mystery. Bog body is a human cadaver that has been naturally mummified in a peat bog. Wow, we're getting all kinds of educated today. Yeah. Yippee! Yahoo! Okay, I'm gonna. Oh uh, yeah. Put a little bit of the volume back to that. Yeah. So um. Wow, it is very feasible for um for lost ones to have mohawks. I love that. The the beatniks of the studio. Um. Yeah, I'm not looking at the chat real quick because I needed to pull up reference on Google. I apologize. I'm pulling up beatnik really quick. Uh, this hat is gonna kill me. Not really. Huh. It's not really giving me a. It's not really saying if beatniks were. War mohawks. I'm sorry, you say beatnik, and I'm just like, is that like Dr. Robotnik's DJ robot? <laughs> like, that's horrible that I'm thinking that, but here we are. <laughs> beatniks were members of a. You know, actually, let me rephrase this. Have you seen the goofy movie where they go, where Max goes to college? Oh, not in years. Do you remember the chick that Pete hate basically got shipped with? I feel like I vaguely remember this. Let's see if I can find find her really quick. My my goofy movie knowledge is um minimal at best. Okay, I think I figured out what's making this feel awkward. It's not quite the right size on her head. It should actually be a little bit tighter. Here we go. Yes, um, the beret girl, she's basically beaten it. Oh, beret girl, yes! Wow. The, stere the stereotypical beatnik. Alright, I think my family might be home. I'm gonna close the door real quick. Yes. Yeah. Technically, beatniks are. I. Oh, man. 
I figured just saying the chick from the Goofy movie would be a lot easier to explain. <laughs> Wow. We are learning all sorts of things in, in the stream today. I am honored. Look at all these brilliant people around me. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't, I don't like this. Ugh. Bella, why did I give you this hat? A symbolism. It's very important. I can't just not have the hat, but yeah, it looks stupid. And now all I can think of is the, is the Kim Possible Sitch in Time clip where it's like, it's it's a future hat. Does anybody remember <laughs> this to know what I'm talking about? I Possible was my jam. Yeah, you do. Mm-hmm. I love KP. She was the best. Yeah, no, so, um, Sitch and Time, we had it on DVD growing up, so, um, I believe that DVD actually went to my sister in the end, because that was her favorite on car trips. Um, so I could, I could probably quote a lot of that movie if I tried. Um, I just, man, it was so good. But yeah, the whole part where Ron moves to Norway and then he comes back and it's like, you know, eh. What's with this stupid hat? It's a it's a future hat. It just it lives in my head for free. <laughs> yeah, it's just my problem with Bella's hat right now is that it's it's getting a little lumpy and it's feeling a little too strawberry shortcake for me. Um It's like but the other way that I'm drawing it, it's a little too parachute, so I just need it to look like a hat. Because it's based on a hat that I own IRL. Um, like obviously, I can't show that, but, you know. Oh, man. I'm going to stop fighting with this hat. I'm going to leave it there. Time to draw Mr. Lawrence. Lord. Do I need a reference of Sammy? Yes, I do. To the art folder, the reference folder, the bendy folder, uh -huh. the reference folder. <laughs> well, Sammy Yay. Lawrence, what do you look like, sir? Oh my god. I can't pull that up. No. Forgot I had that in my files. So my friend Devil, like a million years ago, drew Sammy wearing fishnets for April Fool's Day, and it's all my fault. I take full responsibility <laughs> for this. I'm not showing it on stream. But every time I go into my reference folder, it's in there. So I'm I have to face the I have to face my sins. <laughs> Face your sins, or face some fun reminders. Yes, a trip down memory lane. Later. There's a bunch of stuff in here. Some is from fellow fan artists, some is from, you know, just people. Like, ah, uh, that one Shaz art. No, I can't pull that up, even though that would be great reference. Do you think they will drop the cage on April 14th? No. Yeah, I I feel like we'll get something Bendy related on April 14th, even if it is just a weird tweet from the Meatly because he's just being the Meatly. Um but I don't think they'll drop the game. Yeah. At at best, I think it'll probably be a trailer with the release date but i don't i don't yeah i think we're gonna like yeah they said it wasn't a big 
it wasn't a big pro. It's not a quote unquote big project. Or at least not in the same way Bendy Three is. Yeah, but I don't. It's kind of a twofold for in my head. I think there's still the sticking of foots and mouth by certain individuals regarding certain aspects of already released material. Um, still kind of lingers around for people. That I don't think if they, here's, here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking they're probably going to have to wait just a little bit because there's probably going to be enough people that are loud enough to be like, why should we bother taking a look at the page since you said, you know, you said the books aren't canon. Why should we trust that this game has any canon information from it? Yeah. And I feel like they need they need to give that more time to be buried. To be cooled down. Yeah. Yes. Before, like, they come out. I feel like if they have... I think it's also twofold because it also depends on if they pull... If they do a April Fool's... Like, a big April Fool's. Yeah. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel like the next thing we're gonna see from Bendy is not, like, a game that has any meaning. But, like, the Melee's been over there teasing, you know, April Fool's projects that are, you know, pretend games for years. I feel... I. Th I have a hunch. I just, I have a hunch. Given some of the lead up to April Fool's Day this year, that we might get an April Fool's game. I don't think that's, like, the most likely thing, but I feel like that's not off the table. Because, like, he, he tweeted a couple months ago about getting really into the D-make scene, where it's like, you know, he really likes that old style polygon. Ben, like old old style N64 polygon kind of games. And then this week he tweets Bendy in the Lost Valley? What 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 was it? I have already forgotten. Uh give me a sec. Yes. I I remember you show yes. Uh Valley of Stains. The Valley of Stains. I feel like we're gonna end up with a fake Valley of Stains game that's kinda like Meatly Storage World in nature. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like that's going to be. Yeah, I I have a distinct feeling that we're either going to get our Valley of Stains or CIB. CIB? Yeah, because he says in the tweet, finally, I got my hands on an original cartridge. Star eye emoji. If anyone has a CIB copy, please let me know. Prayer hands, prayer hands. Bendy oh. 64 BOS. Okay. Does CIB stand for copy in box or cartridge in box? Um. Because I feel like that's what that is. Because it's like when in the doll world, when we're talking about, you know, collectors that want things, one of the descriptions you'll, descriptions you'll use is uh, NIB, which stands for new inbox. Um, oh, complete inbox. Complete inbox. Okay. That's sensical. Yeah, I would not be surprised if, if Valley of Stains has, like, is is the April Fool's joke for this year. Um, I'm kind of hoping, but also, like, man. <laughs> here's here's my hope. My hope is that it, if it is that, it, it does that, and it either plays it super straight, and that it's legitimately a Bendy and the Ink Machine N64 game, or it tries to go the route of Shipwreck 64 yeah. and does the horror aspect. And it's like, you know, I am I am into multiple indies playing with the same idea. Like, that's cool. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And from what you've been telling me about Shipwreck, uh, Shipwreck 64, because I know you really enjoy it, it sounds like a fun mm -hmm. time. It, it is most certainly a fun time. It, like, Weeks, McDoa, McDoa. The guy who created it, and I butchered his name, I but his first the first name is Squeaks. Squeaks. Like he has Yes. Squeaks. Wait, hold on. Squeaks Decoran. I think I said that right. 
speaks to Corin. Um, like he has gone in. Like it is clear that Shipwreck sixty four is a labor of love, and he just kind of went and did it. Good for him. He did not stop whether or not he should. He he instead asked, "I wonder if I can." With just a pencil and a dream. And some axe and against God and man. <laughs> and some bread. Actually, waffles. Waffle? Does he like waffles? So, in universe, the reason Bucky's creation has uh, the creator had lost his had lost his first creation due to a contract not reading the contract properly and he was very and one day his family was making waffles and he looked at the waffle pattern and was like holy crap this would make a really fun character oh my god and so the waffle became a beaver the waffle became a beaver you heard it here first folks <laughs> the waffle became a beaver <laughs> only an indie mascot horror Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's fun. So much fun to see. Yeah, there are just so many great indie projects that are coming down the pipeline, and I'm really excited to see what people are up to. Like, don't fret. Oh my god. I'm excited about mm-hmm. that. They were nice. E. Yeah, that one looks like fun. Um, Indigo Park, from what I've heard and still it seems like it's going to be doing some fun things yeah i hope they have a good time i mean i've i've met like very briefly on twitter i've interacted with uh the voice of of the raccoon i his name is escaping me right now but otter rambly boy, the, the guy who does that rambly otter boy voices rambly and rambly seems like so much fun i i need more of the mascot actually being voiced like please <laughs> yeah. yeah um trying to think of the other mascot horrors that I've kept in mind. Funset Studios. Yeah, you've been excited for that one. Yeah, that that one's been fun because uh they're they're, they're switching up the original concept just a little bit so that instead of like going through the adventure and stuff, he talked about it in one of his recent devlogs, but it's just like, oh yeah, instead of going through and not having to worry about it. What if he chased you the entire time? What if he chased you the entire time? Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Basically, um, yeah, and the dev... Well, in the video that he talks about it, it's like he's cutting through, like, showing the different places, and then it all, it's also cutting to, like, Bumbo. Or, you know, the character the mascot of the mascot horror whose name is Fumbo. Fumbo? Pulling up the devlog. Yes. His name is Fumbo. He is a purple he is a purple hippo in a here I'm posting it in the Alright sure I'll pull that up for the chat to see. Or or you will pull that up. Yeah. No so this this looks fun. (laughs) Yes. It's full hidden temple esque kind of gameplay. Plus the giant purple hippo chasing you, but in the in the video itself, it intercuts between like showcasing the area and Bumbo in the employee break room making himself some tea or coffee or whatever. I think that's and then like as he's and then as he's going on, it's like yeah, wouldn't it be great if something else to ride the terror? And then Bumbo pulls the Kool Aid Man and sticks through the office door. Yeah, forget doors. Who needs doors? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, now we've got one, two. Let's try that again. One, two, three, four, five, one, two. There, he has seven teeth. Pretty sure Bendy has seven. Is it kind of obvious funny. that I, I've never, like, drawn... I have not drawn Sammy's mask in a long time. 
despite him being <laughs> one of my favorites. Here's a favorite composer. He's just a little guy. I'm just a little guy, and it's my birthday. Well, happy birthday, Mr. Lawrence. You know what you're gonna get? Freedom from my lord? You're definitely getting something from your lord. Oh, yay. I'm so glad he's noticed me. <laughs> well, to quote the Meatly... Don't get me started. <laughs> Sammy Lawrence is the ultimate proof that sometimes it's better to not be noticed. Sticking tongue out emoji. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you. I hate the way the eyes look on this. <laughs> we we might change it <laughs> down the line. It's fine. This is a rough draft for a reason. Um. Yeah. Belle is not looking away because she's in fear that she has been trapped by this inky man. She's just looking away because, man, that mask is ugly. <laughs> and Sammy still has no mouth at this part of the story. <laughs> so she can't even complain about his breath stinking. I mean, the breast of him probably stinks. He's made of ink. Sure, give us give us the headcanon, Bernie. What's up? This is also where it's going to become apparent the cat does not know how to ab. Well, that's okay. Yes. Cat hasn't drawn naked buff men. She's drawn naked old men. In college. <laughs> years ago. He was a very nice old man. He told great stories while he was modeling. Nice. I feel like a lot of people are going to misinterpret this as being sexual, though. I mean, it's figure, figure drawing for art class in college. No, I mean what I'm drawing right now. Oh. Like, look at well, how close it's the it internet. Is to her. <laughs> they don't have that kind of relationship, I promise. You know that. That's Besides, Sammy is Sammy is still fully dressed. He has his suspenders upright. Yes, which means as a cartoon character, he's not uh, naked. Exactly. See, as long as you're wearing gloves and shoes. Oh, Enjoy. have fun, stitches! Thank you. Enjoy the Godzilla. <laughs> Sorry, I was re-looking at the emoji I sent last night. Oh my god, which emoji Mom was that? Or it, it was it, the gif of Jason Momoa going, oopsie daisy, after I... Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> you want to talk about Nutcracker stuff, Beth? <laughs> sure, let's talk about Nutcracker stuff. <laughs> yeah, what the hell, Beth? <laughs> So let me give some context to the chat. Sure, please do. Uh, me and Kat are doing a role play kind of well, maybe. thing in our Nutcracker, Nutcracker yeah. server. <laughs> and I had the brain worm mentioning of a thing that is in my the Nutcracker. My thing in the Nutcracker is a little bit of a crossover with the Wizard of Oz. Because there's Wizard be. of Oz characters and Nutcrackers and all that, you know, all that jazz. Um... So one of the things is that one of the supporting characters is Tip, and he has a small little pillbox that contains the powder of life. The um, powder of life. Powder of life. He stole that from Bombi. The witch. And much like in the witch, and much like the um, from the source material, it you know once you say the words and you sprinkle it on a thing, it brings whatever to life and it's a sentient living thing you can technically reverse it or you can also take apart the thing and it could just be a talking head and i got the brain worm of the brain worm wanting to ask cat about how hans 
who in the moment, in the current RP we're doing, is half wood. How he, you know, if you just saw that, you know, saw the powder of life, this little tiny pillbox container with a little note that said powder of life, how would he react? Not well. <laughs> <laughs> so for context, um, Hans is my original Nutcracker. So it's like, um, I know that you guys are familiar with Orin, um, who is my Nutcracker character. That's like, hey, he's a dancer, he used to be a soldier, but now he's not. Um, well, there was an original, like, you know, Nutcracker from the Nutcracker fairy tale that exists in this world. And that is Hans, and he is the king. Uh, he's having a time. So Hans, um, the way that his curse works is... If the Mouse King is alive, he's a nutcracker. And the Mouse King's brought, been brought back from the dead. So um, he is slowly turning back into wood. It is up to his waist at this point. He can't move very well. Um, so he's having a time about it. Just yeah. having been a sleeping wooden doll for like a very long time, I feel like Hans is mortified of bringing something inanimate to life um i mean part of it is you know the very intimate fear of he's afraid of it canceling out um you know his own life with another um if that were to happen to him or anyone else in his circumstance but also like life is a very very fickle thing a very sensitive thing a very a, something you have to be very careful of and the fact that there's just magic where people can do that and the person who has it, not necessarily Tip, but if he knew that it came from Mombi, oh, he would be pissed. Like, we can't trust that woman to bring anything to life. She is a neglectful parent. She's not a parent. She's she's yeah. the former you kidnapped wicked, a child, not... Mombi. You're a parent. <laughs> she did no such kidnapping. She's just admit she has neglected to, to inform Galinda in particular and Jocasta in particular of the child's identity. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mombi, you go into jail. It's already in jail. You're going to double jail. Yes, it's great. Um, Mombi has been making friends. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's what I oh, call geez. them friends. Geez, so many friends. Mombi, <laughs> Mombi, you're you're going to maximum security prison. You get the special dungeon. <laughs> let me tell you. <laughs> Someone call Somebody the FBI you. of Oz. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm, I'm so glad we can the be FBI funny. The FBI of Oz. Oh, don't worry. Beth, I'm worried. It'll be fine. No, it will not be fine. It's just going to be mildly traumatizing. That's all. Beth. I love what? you. <laughs> I say I this like I, I'm not even worse. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be. Is it though? Yeah, we're, it it's really? just gonna be a fun like. It's just gonna be a. Well... Oh, you good? Hello. 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 Okay. This is Sorry, I thought my internet show. did a. Okay. I... Okay, it looks like my internet. Um. Um, bah, bah, bah. I won't live. Thought my internet did a thing. Yeah, it, it cut you off for like a second. It's there, gonna be it fine. It's just okay, cool. <laughs> Yay. Yeah, I'm just it's just gently tossing softballs of like, oh, here's this shocking thing that happened that you know may or may not you know this thing may or may not happen 
that I know may or may not affect your characters as well, super bad. Here you go! Yeah, like, I trust you with that more than I do a lot of people, because it's like, you'll throw me a ball, but, like, y you know you know that you can throw it at me like that, because we, we have been, we are on the same wavelength. I just, <laughs> oh my god, the shenanigans we get into. It, Bernie, thank we you. We communicate. Yeah, we are just, we're just here for a good time. Like, I've had a lot of roleplay partners over the years. I've had a lot of people that I've written stuff with collaboratively. Beth, you are, you are one of the best. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. I enjoy working together. We have a good time, but I swear I'll respond to the RP at some point. I'm just, uh, I gotta it's, read it. It's all good. Look. The brain worm is just going all sorts of fun places, so I'll just leave it in in our side chat. Oh my god, it's so fun. Oh yeah, that's that's working for me. I just had to delete her ears. It was fine. <laughs> yes, the brain worms have been fun because the brain worm has like, oh, the brain worm has realized, oh, I technically didn't have mom be saying that she's not she's being slightly specific which means she can go do anything else and cause problems oh i mentioned this in another earlier oh no i can cause some major problems oh i can cause so much trouble oh i just realized i could use this in the backstory of another character yeah listen i just i am you keep breaking me. First of all, characters are just really attractive, so screw you. And and then they all have tragic backstories that my heart bleeds for, and it's just I can't with you. I can't. It's great. Like you you get my taste. <laughs> I mean There's not a tragic backstory for Basil. Yet. No, not, not no, really. He's we're good. We're not going to do the AU where he has a tragic backstory? <laughs> I mean, I guess if you technically count, he's a genie, but I mean, you know. Yeah, I mean, you know, that, that's hit or miss but whether I'm... or not that's tragic, you know? Yeah. His stupid face. This is really driving me nuts. Yeah, I could have him take the mask off, but I feel like that's not in character for him to do. Could he be looking it up to get a closer look? But Beth, don't you remember the hot topic takeover? <laughs> I'm sorry, I. I refuse to believe that Sammy Lawrence wouldn't to use it as a hat. Yeah, I just I'm very smitten. I know that this probably is not canon. I you can't treat the hot topic takeover as canon. But like somebody asked him, "Why do you wear a mask? How can you see with that?" And he responded with, "How can you see without yours?" <laughs> like that's so cryptic, my dude. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Him, you're a schmuck button. I but a sassy him. schmuck button. We love you for it. He's so good. He's my little buffoon. Just a little guy. A little guy who's a little crazy. I was crazy once. They locked me in a room. A room full of ink. The ink made me crazy. You knew it was going to happen at least once. No, you didn't. Of I never course. that meme. I know I'm a schmuck, but what's your excuse? <laughs> Oh my god, careful. Bernie over there is a Sammy voice actor.
music lover. Hey, good to see you. Welcome. Man. Now we, we have a good time here. I'm actually wondering if I should instead zoom this in, not emphasize the height difference between them, and have him, like, crouched next to her, and, like, you know, maybe tying the rope? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> like, maybe that's what this Just needs. Thinking. I'm not sure. <laughs> that visual gives me the, um... You know those memes of like how to properly talk to short people? No! Beth! <laughs> I mean, yes, I really should draw that meme with them. How do you properly talk? You don't just look down at them, you crouch down to their level and talk to them. <laughs> you know what's horrible? I feel like there needs to be a version of this meme, and you, you guys are allowed to be upset with me about this. Um, I need a version of this meme where it's like how to talk to short people, and it's like Audrey is standing there regularly. And then in the next frame, she's missing her legs. I don't know who she is taller than that she would need to talk to that is short, but like, I feel the like demon. someone needs to do the egg demon. <laughs> So it's like, you know, she she's not doing it pro she's not properly talking to to Bendy because he is shorter than her. Um so then the ink demon takes care of that. <laughs> I should tell friendly this, she'll kill me. Oh my god, it's just the ink demon picking up Audrey. It goes full <laughs> circle. Okay, I think that's the way I want to do that pose. You gotta fail a lot. Nice and taut. Hmm. We're trying our best here, Beth. I almost feel like Sammy needs, like, this wretched scowl on his face, but he doesn't have a face at this point in the story. <laughs> also, I, I really like the way Bella's turned out. She's very ragged. A lot. Yeah, actually. I know I'm just gonna add these in later, but... Freckles. Admittedly, the w the way that I'm drawing her kind of makes her look like several Wally Franks designs I've seen. <laughs> well, I just had a thought seeing the rough sketch out for Sammy like that. Like, yeah. no wonder this is the this is the one where he succeeds in sacrificing Henry, and he's putting Henry high enough up so that way, even if the ropes do fall. He's this flat, and he's got a couple minutes to grab him. <laughs> you know, I imagine that he was like on the ground, and she is in a chair. But you know what? I'm I'm into it. <laughs> maybe maybe she is high up. Maybe she is dangling. 
just a little bit as a tree as a tree for who for me why is this a treat for me none of your damn business not actually because i just i just think sammy deserves to be successful once and then immediately regret it because he is so upset because he was purposely trying not to kill people. And then the ink is like, you know what, Sammy? You're going to kill people. And he's like, damn it. I don't want to. Well, too damn bad. That said, I have no idea how to draw his mask from this angle. This is fine. At least I don't have to show the face too much. Honestly, though, Sammy's just like, but but I don't want to sacrifice people. Oh, yeah, he doesn't have ears. Forgot he doesn't have ears. You know, it's either killing somebody to fill the ink murder quota or having to listen to the sprawling, screaming voice. He probably has to deal with both either way, but, like, maybe this this quenches the, the screaming for a bit. We don't know how yeah, it's like screaming a five works. The five minute break like all right it's time for the 15 everybody shut up it's my it's my government mandated break I may have just made this harder on myself, but it's fine. Uh, that said, I am starting to lose some steam. Hey, I take care of yourself, cat. If it's time to break, well, if it's, it's, if it's time, time to break. End for the day. Like, let's be real. We've been yeah. here for a while. Um, True. And I don't want to hold but you. But you did time. a really nice job at Bella. Thank you. She came out so good. It's like, yeah. Oh my god, I can't. I look forward to, to doing the other side at some point. Just like <laughs> this is this is fun. She's just she's so good. She's so good. Oh my god, do a little stretch. <sighs> Man, but besides that, I also have a doll that I still need to photograph. Yeah. Well, she's not quite done yet. This... I'm. I, I have not managed to figure out what is incomplete about her, but you know, it's whatever. We'll get there. Uh. You got this. Oh, thank you. Oh man. Need to check something real quick. <laughs> Me. But yeah. I think it would probably help if it were actually using reference, but the problem is so many of the references that I like um, just are not um, ones I can show on screen or, you know, <sighs> yeah, or I just forget to grab them and it's like scrambling to find one that I can legally use Ugh, at the time. But, you know, I'm not, I'm not unhappy with this. I feel like for not knowing what we were doing and making a lot of mistakes, we did pretty well. Yeah. Now, real quick before I forget, I'm going to put everything that we did today in a folder. And we are going to call it 30 because today is the 30th of March. And mm -hmm. uh, we're going to, real quick, take a look at last stream's doodles and then this one. 
I think we're going to close it out. So last stream, we had a lot of fun. Uh, it was it was a good time. I got to talk about Fifi and Fiero and Vio and draw myself <laughs> because we're self-indulgent. And maybe we'll finish that one day. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a time. Um, but then today, we got to start on a complex illustration that is definitely more than I could have gotten done in a stream, but it was a good time. Holy cow. And I'm, I'm very happy. Like, my girl, it's been so long since I drew her human. Oh my god, she doesn't even look like the same character. Go away, Tom. <laughs> oh, so we gotta hit save. Very important. Save check, don't forget to save your work. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. But with that being said, I think it it is time to call it a day. I mean, we could wait ten more minutes and, like, stop at 4.14. <laughs> But like I feel I feel like that's you know, that's a little silly, right? Like what what do I have to say for like ten minutes? That's nah. <laughs> but yeah. But thank you so much for joining me today, Beth. This has been an absolute delight. I have had so much fun and thank you yeah. in the chat for joining us too. <laughs> Don't forget yeah, to Yeah, thank it. you for having me on. It was Yeah. Oh, it's it's always good to see you. It to hang out with everybody yeah yeah don't forget to save yeah no that is that is my motto during college too holy cow Ugh. always and always have a backup like if you think you've saved your file save it again in another place just in case just don't be like me and accidentally like write over the file i was working on and lose all my work that kind of sucked it only happened to me once though yeah. i never made that mistake twice oh that's good yeah. But all it takes is once. Fly too close to the sun and all that. <laughs> yep. Uh, well, here's wishing all of you a wonderful rest of your day. I hope you have fun. Oh, and before I go, um, I should go and support my fellow streamers because it is Saturday. And that means one of my favorite channels will be streaming tonight, hopefully. Um, so where are, they are a Twitch channel, so real quick, I'm gonna see if I can link them. Where are they in my feed? Uh, excuse me. Yeah, now you know it's time to quit when I start yawning, holy cow. Where are they? Literally? There they are. <laughs> Don't do that. So, uh, my friends Shaz and Boo stream on Saturday nights, and I don't remember if they are doing more of Pokemon tonight in the DLC for Scarlet Violet, or if they're doing Minecraft, uh, but the two of them are absolutely fantastic, and if you're looking for something to do later this evening around, I believe, 8 EDT, uh, that is a great channel to come watch. So um, I will be in the chat just watching them enjoying the, the atmosphere, and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. But thank you all for joining. Thank you for being here. Thank you for all the love. It has been absolutely wonderful having so many great people just surrounding me for my birthday. I love you guys. I swear we will try and be more organized the next time we stream, but I make no promises on execution. <laughs> Is there any wisdom you'd like to leave the chat with before we go? Um, hydrate or dihydrate. Yes, that is good wisdom. I like that wisdom. <laughs> All right. Well, we will see you guys another time. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Yeah. Bye.